What's going on, everybody? It is your boy Bad Dog back with the New York Giants post game video. As always, thank you so much for clicking on the video. I really do appreciate it. Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. That helps out the video. Hit that subscribe, ring the bell. Giants once again. Another freaking just heart wrenching game or heart pounding game. Nothing's ever easy for the Giants, and this one ends in a tie. And I I don't know what the hell to feel about. Ending in a tie. I don't remember the last time we tied. I always feel like tie, ties suck. I, I I mean, I wouldn't, I want don't want to say I'd rather lose than tie, but God, it just feels like unfinished business. And <clears throat> the Giants to me really let this one get away. We had this game. The, the Giants had so many opportunities to win this game. And I'll be honest, um, a lot of mistakes again. Uh, the coaching staff, too conservative. I don't know what it is. Like, I, I don't know why. Like, We've seen this the last couple of years of Joe Judge and Ace Garrett. It was conservative. At the beginning of the year, I didn't feel like we were as conservative. All of a sudden, it's like we get a lead and we try to sit on it. We don't, we're not aggressive anymore. Certainly weren't aggressive in overtime. I don't understand. I just don't get it. Um, Glowinski definitely cost us the game. Uh, we, we had this game. We had it in, in first down and 10 in Washington 33. And the dumbass goes running up and does this. Uh, and he went, you suck, dude. Your ass. What are you flexing for? That was all Darius Slayton. Why are you running up to Washington and flexing? Who gives a damn? That cost the Giants 15 yards, pushed us back to midfield. We couldn't get any more yards. They had to punt the ball away. And then the defense goes and lays down and lets Taylor Heineke go 90 yards in two minutes. Missed tackles. It's just stupid. I mean, just dumb. The play calling... I Again, at the end of the half, I don't understand. You have no you have no timeouts, and you're running Daniel Jones for a first down. At that juncture, throw the ball into the end zone. If you're just going to play, if you throw the ball into the end zone and try to score a touchdown, that's what you do there. You, you don't have him run the ball and then kick a field. Like, I just, and then the last drive, you know, before the overtime, when we just sit back and heave three deep passes down the field, Where's that all year? Like we haven't done that all year. All of a sudden, in like the most crucial situation, we're gonna we're gonna just sit there and throw the ball down the freaking you know launch the ball down the field. Now Slayton dropped the pass; should have caught it. I don't even know what to think, man. I'm just I'm mad and I'm glad at the same time. Like I'm pissed off because I felt like we let that get away. It would have been such a huge win, but at the same time, I'm relieved because when Washington scored, listen, if you guys have been on. Uh, Chris and I stream, or you, you join us when we join Patty Trana. I said the Giants are going to win this game 21 to 20 because Ron Rivera was going to go for two at the end of the game and not make it. Well, it was 20 to 19, and he decided to kick a field goal. I thought when they scored, he was going for two. I really did. But the Giants, again, man, it's just too much of the same crap. Week in and week out. I, I don't understand what we're doing uh, right now. Now, again, we didn't lose. So, because I say, if we had lost, I would have been really pissed off. I would have been really heated. For the first time this year, I would have been really, really mad that we'd blown a game because we had no business. We had so many times we had that game won and we let it get away. We had Taylor Heineke dead to rights on fourth down and four from zone 20. He launches up a prayer and they catch it. You know, otherwise the game was over there. Uh, without a doubt, like I said, Feliciano, uh, you might as well call him uh, Jose Feliciano. Feliz Navidad, Washington. Merry Christmas. So we gave you a Christmas gift with that unsportsmanlike conduct garbage uh, that took us out of field goal range. And then, of course, Graham, we you know at the end of the game, I couldn't see how short it was from the television, but, you know, he missed just a bit short, right on money, but just a bit short. I don't know. We, it's, you know, Washington, listen, man. They did a great job of shutting down our run in the second half. We ran the ball really well in the first half between Barkley and Jones, which we kind of figured we would have to do because those were our weapons. Um, you know, Slayton did have a good game outside of the drop. I thought Slayton played well. I thought Hodgins played well. Um, the offensive line just stinks. Uh, it just, Glowinski is terrible. Feliciano is terrible. Like, Barkley could not run in the second half. Jones had no time to throw the ball. It's just bad. You know, it, it, it's just awful. Um, it's funny. I said the team that won the turnover battle was going to win the game. Both teams had one turnover. Uh, both quarterbacks fumbled once. And 
Um, I mean, it's 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 fitting that they tie because I've said all week, or you know, th- these two teams mirror one another. They are like the same exact team. They can't make mistakes and overcome mistakes. It's it's just is what it is, and they tie at twenty. And I don't know, man. Like I said, I, there's a sense of me that's relieved. Because we still stay ahead of Washington in the standings, and we still have to beat Washington the next time we play them. I mean, that's the big thing. If we end up this season nine, nine, seven, and one, um, I think that's good enough uh, to make the playoffs. But we have to beat Washington the, the next time we play them. It'd be pretty funny if we tied again. Wouldn't it? I think I actually think that'd be pretty funny. Um, obviously, the Giants have the Eagles next week. <laughs> as much as I hate Philadelphia, and I do hate Philadelphia. The odds of us beating them are slim to none. Uh, they're too good. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. Listen, I Jalen Hurts played incredible today. Jalen Hurts is really – Jalen Hurts is stepping up huge. Okay, I I was completely wrong about him. There's just, just no question about it. I missed, I missed a boat on that. He is playing his ass off, and they're just a really good team. They have two fantastic receivers. They have good running backs. They have a good offensive line. They're tough. Um. I don't know how the hell we're stopping that offense, but you know, it's something we, it's why I really wish the giants would have just won this game today. That would have been fantastic, but I don't want to say a tie is as good as a win. Cause it's not, but a tie is certainly better than a loss. And I just feel like the giants just always so close. Like they're always so close. Like it's, it's a slate and drop. It's like this much, it, you know, it's a Graham Goodell miss field goal by that much. It's a stupid unsportsmanlike conduct foul that takes us out of field goal range you know it, it's it's missing Heineke by that much and fourth down and him throwing that ball and completing for 20 yards it's it's just things like that that seem to prevent like we're just like I said we're not good enough to overcome these things we just miss a lot and I really would just like to see Dable be aggressive I, I would like to see these guys be aggressive again you remember the week one we were extremely aggressive we went for two against Tennessee and I don't know, man. We got 20 to 13, and it's like they just – I don't know, man. I can't put my finger on it. It's just weird. The play calling was weird. Um, I, I just – I don't know. The game was weird. We always play weird games against Washington. I remember back in 1997, I remember the last time the Giants and Washington tied. That was the day – that was the game Gus Farratt scored a touchdown and banged his head into the freaking wall and gave himself a concussion. Um, we tied seven to seven, but we also went to the postseason that year. We were nine, six, and one in '97. I, I that's weird, isn't it? I, ironic, maybe, but um, yeah, a very interesting game. But I, again, I would have been so much more heated and pissed off had we lost. I'm just glad that we were able to get out of there with a tie. I hate ties, though. I just I don't like ties. I, I, like I said, it's unfinished business, but we do remain in third place in the, in the NFC East. We do remain uh, a half game ahead of Washington, but odds are after this week against Philadelphia, we're probably going to have the same record as Washington. Washington was still on the tiebreaker because they have a better divisional record. We have to beat Washington. That is really the team that we have to beat. Now, maybe we, maybe there is a miracle. Maybe there is a Christmas miracle in our satchel, and somehow Philadelphia just overlooks the Giants and, and plays the worst game that they've played all year. And we play our best game all year. We beat them. I'm not expecting that. Okay. This is the this is the first game this year where I'm going to go in thinking we're not going to be close. Um, although I didn't think we'd be close to Dallas either. Philadelphia's just a lot better team than we are. You never know. That's why they play the games on Sunday. But that game against Washington's huge because I'm just assuming we're going to be 7-5-1, and one, as is Washington. Washington has a better divisional record, so we have to win that game. Again, it'll be a playoff game, and consist, you know, considering it's the equivalent of a playoff game, we're gonna have to win that. Um, again, man, I just I, I wish the Giants would have found a way to win this game. I felt like we had this game a number of times, and we just we we let kind of let it get away, and it's a shame because it was winnable, but. You know, you give credit to Washington, man. They're they're just like us. Washington doesn't give up. Washington's a fighter. With the way we started off this game, down 10-0, you know, first drive, Daniel Jones fumbles, 
they kick a field goal, then they score an easy touchdown, you know, missed tackles. Excuse me, been a long day. It's missed tackles. We go up 10 nothing. It's not looking good for us. Then, you know, then we get all the momentum. They get the momentum. We get the momentum. I mean, I can't say it enough. These two teams are extremely evenly matched. They they are the same type of team. They win at the line of scrimmage. They win with, you know, bend but don't break defenses. And they win with running the ball and having their quarterback make the plays when he when he's asked to make them. They're not two teams that drop back and throw the ball 40 times. They're not two teams that score 50, 60 points, you know, not 50, 60, but you get 35, 40 points a game. It's just not the way they're built. They don't win games that way. They win games the way both teams played today. Both teams played the same today. Both teams ended up with the same amount of points today. And at the half, the stats were almost identical. It's just, it, it's amazing how even these two teams are, and they played to a 2020 draw today. So, again, man, not happy, not mad. I'm a little disappointed and a little relieved. I'm just glad that we walked out with a tie and not a loss. A loss would have been a lot more detrimental to the team. So, Coming out with a tie, and and like I said, man, next week we have the, the team that I hate the most, and I would love to sit here and do nothing more than to say we're going to whoop Billy's ass, we're going to beat their ass. Yeah, just, Philadelphia is really good. They're, they're going to have to they're going to have to play a terrible game, and they're all going to have to catch the flu or something because I don't know how we're slowing down that offense, but you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, Giants and Washington Commanders tie at twenty apiece. Thank you for watching the video. I always appreciate it. And I will have a stream tomorrow night, an in victory stream, and it ain't, a, it ain't a therapy session. I don't really know what the hell you call a tie, but I'll be live tomorrow. I'll be live for the Lakers in like an hour, and I'll see you then. It's Bad Diggy Dizzle. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'm out. Peace.